Hello everyone and welcome to 2024 real estate market forecast for Calgary and area. In this forecast, we will analyze just published Calgary real estate board forecast. It reviews housing forecast and economic summary, forecast risk and impact of lending rates and inflation. It gives an employment update, population change, housing supply and housing market summary for cities of Calgary and also comparison between Calgary and Edmonton and each of the property type outlook for 2024. So let's dive in. Raising lending rates have had a notable impact on the housing sector, prompting potential buyers to search more affordable housing options. Simultaneously, some potential sellers have refrained from listing their homes to avoid consequences of higher rates. The decrease in listings and the lower price point has likely hindered overall sales activity, particularly at the lower price properties contributed to the decline in sales during 2023. Despite of a moderation from record high levels, strong migration growth and a robust labor market have kept sales well above long-term trends. While international migration had influenced rental markets, resulting in increased rental gains and a heightened demand from investors, interprovincial migration from higher price markets in British Columbia and Ontario has helped to support sales growth in higher price ranges of our market when we face a higher lending rates. Interprovincial migration from higher price market in British Columbia and Ontario has helped support sales growth in a higher price ranges of our market even in the face of a higher lending rates. Moving into 2024, it is anticipated that potential buyers who were previously on the sidelines due to limited supply choices may re-enter the market as the lending rates ease and listing improve. Looking ahead of 2024, Migration is expected to slow, but still remain robust enough to sustain relatively strong sales in our market. At the same time, with more mortgages set to renew, we could see more gains in our resale listings as existing homeowners who were previously hesitant to change their housing situation may be motivated to capitalize on our rising prices and take the advantage of seller market condition. The combination of improved listings and heightened activity in the new home sector is, is anticipated to foster some growth in overall supply. However, given the persistent strong demand driven by recent migration and a healthy job market, it will take time for a supply level to rise significantly to restore balance to the market. Although conditions are not expected to be as tight as in 2023, the seller market is projected to persist throughout the spring market resulting in a further price growth. However, the rate of growth for each property type is anticipated to slow compared to 2023 levels. Supply growth is mostly expected to be driven by upper price ranges for each property type, which will likely decelerate the pace of price growth in higher price properties. Meanwhile, conditions are expected to remain tight for lower price properties, contributing to continued price gains. All right, let's look into economic summary. The Canadian economy has been affected by higher price interest rates and inflationary pressure leading to a slowdown in consumer spending and business activity in the later part of 2023. This trend is anticipated to persist into 2024. Higher lending rates and inflation expected to impact consumers in Alberta. However, Economic growth is expected to outperform most other provinces, primarily due to the recent gains in the energy sector and population growth. The province is expected to outperform most others, primarily due to the resilience of its energy sector. There are some forecast risks, and one of them is recession. Recessionary risk is what this could mean for commodity prices reflect the most significant downside to our local economy and housing market activity. Weakening consumer activity is expected, but should decline to be more profound and broader than expected. This could result in lower commodity prices and impact confidence in our market. Another risk is environmental policy. Several announcements from an emission cap on the energy sector to a net zero electricity grid by 2030 could have significant impact for our economy. While much of the details are still required and should be released this year, it does create some near-term uncertainty within the energy sector which could impact investment activity. Another risk is housing supply and migration. Migration level to the province have contributed to the declining supply of resale homes in Calgary. 
while forecasters are expecting interprovision migration to slow. Should this level continue to outperform expectation, it could take longer than expected to see improvement in a supply driving stronger price growth. The new home sector has responded to the recent rise in migration, but ultimately the level of construction will have to be more in line with the migration figures before we see a substantial adjustment in supply. While there is available land for development, municipal requirements could impact how long it takes to bring additional supply to the market. This is identified as a top risk to the forecast. Another risk is lending rates and inflation. Persistent inflation prompted the Bank of Canada to implement further rate hikes in the second half of 2023, bringing the overall target rate to 5%. This resulted in a significant increase in bond yields and five-year rates towards the end of the year, impacting both broader economic activity and the housing market. The elevated rate successfully reduced the inflation to the 3% closer to the end of 2023. Although inflation remains above target levels, many analysts and forecasters believe that the current rates are overly restrictive. As a result, there is an expectation that Bank of Canada might initiate a reduction in lending rates in the later part of the year. While rates are anticipated to decrease to 4% by the end of 2024, they still be unconsiderably higher than pre-pandemic level. Let me give you an employment update. Calgary has benefited from the robust employment growth over the last several years, with the professional, scientific and technical service sector being the primary contributor in 2023. The employment sector's sustained growth is expected to continue to support housing activities in 2024. Although the rate of the employment growth has decelerated in 2023 and is anticipated to further slow in 2024, there is no substantial forecast increase in unemployment or job loss. This outlook supports the expectation of continuing stability in housing activity throughout 2024. Well, let's talk about the forecast in population. The recent shift in international and interprovision migration is a primary driver of the tightening seen in the housing market over the past several years. For five consecutive quarters, migration level have surpassed 30,000 migrants per quarter, with Q3 of 2023 reporting all new record highs of 56,306 migrants. While Alberta has never experienced this level of international migration, we've also seen a surge in interprovincial migration. Alberta welcomed over 45,000 interprovincial migrants from Q1 to Q3 last year, just shy of an annual high record in 2006 of 46,239. While interprovincial migration is expected to slow in 2024, gains in both interprovincial and international migration throughout 2022 to 2023 are expected to continue supporting higher housing demand levels into 2024. On an annual basis, population growth in the province is expected to be near 4% in 2023 and remain at the same pace in growth in 2024. Recent estimates from Statistics Canada show that Calgary is accounting for nearly half of the population growth in the province and is seeing its population grow faster than a provincial total. Forecasters expect that in 2023, Calgary's population will grow by nearly 5% slowing to a 4% growth rate in 2024. Despite the slower growth expected, the population growth remains high and should continue to fuel strong housing demand throughout the year. Let's talk about the housing supply, new homes and rental impact. The sudden and sharp rise of international immigration have played a significant role in driving up demand for rental properties. This surge in rental demand has led to a decrease in supply and substantial increase in rental rates since 2022. The heightened rates have also spurred demand in the resale market as both renters and investors actively pursued available resale properties. Limited supply choices in a resale and rental market supported stronger home starts activity in 2023. In Calgary metropolitan area in 2023, housing starts are on the pace to hit record levels. Most starts have been in the apartment segment with over half of the units targeted towards purpose-built rentals. Gains in new home starts for rental and home ownership will help provide more choice in the market, helping the shift 
resell market away for extreme seller's market condition we have faced over the past year. However, the supply growth will take time and it is contingent to the migration flow to the city and the development process. All right, let's discuss 2023 housing market summary for the city of Calgary. Throughout 2023, challenges related to the supply of a housing persisted. New listings declined throughout the lower price ranges, contributing to the pullback in sales. Higher lending rates draw more demand towards affordable products, while also preventing some homeowners from making changes to their existing housing situation. This resulted in further inventory declines, persistent seller's market condition and higher than expected price growth. The only segment of the market to see improvement in a new listing was the upper end of the market, which likely contributed to the gain in sales for home priced over 700,000. While there were signs of improvement in new listings towards the end of the year, they materialized later than anticipated. This delay contributed to persistence of seller's market condition throughout the year, leading to the higher than expected price growth. It is important to note on compositional shift. It is a change of the mix of the property types being purchased. Price growth for each property type has exceeded the city's overall total residential price growth as lower price apartment condominium sales account for a larger share of the total residential price. As we move into 2024, we are forecasting lower price growth for each property type in the city. However, with less compositional shift impacts in the market expected in 2024, total residential prices are expected to grow at a similar pace to the last year. While benchmark price reflect the typical home, compositional shift has impacted total residential price growth. All right, let's talk about Calgary versus Edmonton. While Alberta has experienced significant population growth due to international and interprovincial migration, the housing dynamic in the province's two larger cities have differed. Calgary is perceived to be drawing a large share of interprovincial migrants supporting some of the sales growth in a higher price market segments while simultaneously putting pressure on supply. The limited supply relative to demand in Calgary played a role in an annual benchmark price gain of nearly 6%. However, Edmonton prices are forecasted to rise this year as recent shifts to a tighter market condition will persist given expected gains in employment and migration. In contrast, Edmonton began this year with a higher supply levels than persisted throughout the spring market, preventing home prices from rebounding. On an annual basis, Edmonton saw a nearly 5% decline in a benchmark price in 2023. As we enter 2024, conditions remain tighter in Calgary compared to Edmonton. Despite recent shifts in the Edmonton market, the expectation is that price growth within Calgary will still outpace the growth in Edmonton in 2024. And now we only need flames to be better than Oilers. Let's talk about relative affordability. The housing market conditions vary across country. Recent reports highlight a trend of easing prices in markets such as Toronto and Vancouver, signaling a shift in favor of buyers. Despite these recent gains, our market remains relatively affordable compared to the country's two largest markets. Now we're going to review each housing market segment and we'll start with the detached. Despite gains in sales for home price over 700,000, the overall detached market experienced 19% slowdown in 2023 sales. This decline was primarily driven by pullback in a lower price ranges, while limited inventory constrained stronger sales activity. On an annual basis, inventory levels averaged 1,474 units, the lowest ever reported and nearly 48% below long-term trends. The substantial drop in inventory outweighed the sale pullback, maintaining the market firmly in a seller's territory throughout the year. The consistently tight condition led to the price increase across all districts with the most significant gains occurring in the more affordable areas of a Northeast and East district. Calgary's annual detached benchmark price surged to nearly 8% to 675,783 dollars, establishing a new record high. 
Heading into 2024, an anticipated improvement in the supply is expected to contribute to a modest upturn in sales activity. However, due to low starting point, achieving sufficient supply growth will require time to restore balance conditions. The majority of the supply gains are forecasted to occur in the upper price ranges, slowing the pace of a price growth in a higher price homes. Meanwhile, persistently tight conditions in the lower price ranges are likely to continue driving further price growth. Overall, prices are projected to rise by 4%, pushing above $700,000 mark. All right, now it's time to review semi-detached homes. A rise in demand for affordable product draw many consumers to seek out semi-detached homes. However, limited supply for properties priced below 500K prevented strong sales activity in 2023, ultimately contributing to the annual 10% decline in sales. While sales did improve for the higher priced properties, it wasn't enough to offset the decline occurring in the lower price ranges. The pullback in supply compared to the sales kept market conditions exceptionally tight throughout the year, averaging just over one month of supply in a sales to nearest ratio of 82%. The tight market conditions contributed to the benchmark price 7% annual gain. Prices rose across every district in the city, with the largest gains occurring in the most affordable districts of the East and Northeast. New home starts have gone up for semi-detached homes in 2023, which should help support some supply growth in 2024. However, it will take time for supply levels to return to the level that are more consistent with the long-term trends, as demand is expected to remain relatively strong. As the sales and new listings are expected to improve, we do not anticipate the market returning to the more balanced conditions until later in 2024, driving further price growth. All right, it's time to discuss row houses. A pullback in new listings and strong demand kept conditions exceptionally tight for row properties last year. The relative affordability attracted demand from purchasers, but the limited supply choices prevented strong sales. In 2023, the average amount of supply for row houses was one month, while sales to new list ratio was 88% reflecting conditions that are much tighter than the last year. The exceptionally tight conditions resulted in a second consecutive year in a row of price growth around 14%. A surge in a new home starts in 2023 should help support supply growth for this property type in 2024. However, the relative affordability will continue to support strong demand prolonging the time it takes for this market to return to the more balanced conditions and support further price growth in 2024, but at a lower pace. And the last but not least important housing market segment of an apartment condominium. Sales for the apartment condo surged in 2023 as a rise in the demand for affordable ownership option and supply choices drove consumers to this market segment. Sales activity rose by nearly 27%, while new listings increased by nearly 18%. The growth in the new listings did help support the stronger sales, but conditions also tightened in this market with the months of supply decreasing over the previous years and averaging one and a half months in 2023. The apartment condominium sector struggled with the excess supply before the pandemic, but the surge in the demand has shifted those conditions supporting price growth. Prices in 2023 finally recovered and rose above the highs reported in 2014 with the annual price gains of over 13%. You can see on the graph here that surrounding areas are forecasted to follow Calgary's path. To summarize and give you an idea of 2023 and 2024 forecast, detached home price growth was 7.64% last year, it is expected to rise another 4%. Semi-detached homes grow 7.4% this year, they're expected to grow another 5.5%. Rotan houses appreciated 13.56%, it is anticipated that they will grow another 9% this year, and condo apartment grew 13.49% and they're anticipated to increase another 9.5 this year. Well, that would be all for this forecast. I hope you found this valuable. And if you have any questions, 
please don't hesitate to reach out. And if you did like this video, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great 2024.